What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. I forgot what this game was called for a second. Um, so, sorry about the late videos. I've been, honestly, my sleep schedule has been all messed up, so I've been waking up later. And um, haven't really been playing much. And, yeah, we're trying to get back into it. Uh, let me... First time I'm logging in for the day, honestly. Gotta get everything set up. What we're gonna be doing, though, is doing this. And I'm kind of excited. Though we have to go all the way out to the desert near Fogans, which is not the greatest thing. Wait, did they move it? Oh, never mind. We don't have to go to Fogans. It's uh down over here. Hell yeah, that makes life so much easier. Right, let me go check the central market before anything. Sold that. Whenever the prices of these go down to like, I don't know, maybe like 800 mil, I might buy one. But honestly though, I don't want it. Oh yeah, make sure to roll your dice. Dude, I keep forgetting this event exists. Okay. Give me a five. Oh no. Attack speed. Oh, they give you a Valk's Cry? Dude, no. Give me a Memfrag. Didn't it used to give memfrags? Anyway, I uh, got my gear on. We're gonna go down. 46 potions. That is probably not enough. We're on a DK. We got a spy like 500, and then that'll be enough. It's actually not going to be that difficult. I'm just kind of overstocking. I'm like actually convinced though that people at Pearl Abyss don't play Dark Knights because Dark Knights are one of the only classes that uses so many potions per hour grinding. Like, I can give you an example. When I'm playing my Mystic, or actually any other class that I got to 56. Um, I use maybe 10 potions an hour while grinding. Assuming I'm not like fighting other people, I'm just normal grinding. Maybe 10 potions an hour. That includes like health and magic or willpower, or whatever. And on Dark Knight, I use about 200 an hour. And and PvP Dark Knights are at the bottom. So it's like you're losing and everything. It kind of feels bad. So, yeah, that's, uh. It's not great. But. I like my Dark Knight. Just kind of wish they wouldn't keep screwing it up. With the stamina changes. The damage is at the bottom, and you're making it harder to play, and you need to be geared to be okay at it. Ugh. It's fun to play. That's about it. It's not great at anything. But that's why we're making a Mystic. Dude, I'm so glad they moved the... Uh, boss from out of the desert that made me so happy when I saw that I was like yes we don't have to go into the desert I'm probably still gonna die though let me see it's a very hard difficulty um, I still don't really understand when it goes down in tier like it goes from like five to one, I think, prior to pen, and then 
Does it just lose health or something? Or do you get a lower reward for, like, waiting it out? Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Actually getting closer to another horse or dream horse attempt. I think that would be like twelfth attempt. So one day. I really do hope that I can get a Pegasus or not a Pegasus, a unicorn and not a Pegasus. And hopefully, I kind of want to get it before. It Doom Horse comes out, because that would just make it harder to get, but I mean, ultimately, Dream Horse is Dream Horse, I'll take whatever. Just if I had to pick, I'd love to have a unicorn just so I could run through the desert, and that's, that's all I care about. Though with the prices of things... Oh wait, when is Vel? in like an hour, right? I should probably go do that with my guild. Okay, so Vela's in two hours. Oh, yeah, we'll be done by then. If I could get uh, another Vel's heart, like money is so valuable now. Slow with the prices of everything that's tanking. Dude, 6.5 for a tech crescent. Under 10 for, or 9 bill for Tungrad. Which is, Tungrads are the last things you should be getting. stupid I die to it sometimes it's like I don't know if you can even dodge some of the attacks it's just can you get out of its AOE before it shoots everything It does a frontal attack, a large AOE, and then it flies in the air and uh, targets you and cone sweep. What I just need to watch is my stamina. It's not, and I just die. Gotta be. him to not be in the corner so if he does his lightning I'll be okay oh my god 
god, this is... Oh my god, that hurt. This boss used to be like... Awaken Griffin difficulty of stupid. How did I die? dead. Alrighty, we got three mem frags, six of these, one of those. Alright, so this is the good box. Well, the worst thing you can get is a crescent ring, which is 20-something mil. Not bad. I would like to get a duo ogre. Then I'll smash it to try. doing today um let me see I don't know how interesting this is, but I could go fix our farms. Not that it's. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, farms are. Gotta be taken care of. I don't know how interesting it'd be to watch. Most likely not, but um, I gotta do it. And you guys like seeing me do my daily activities anyway. about like 15 minutes because farming in this game is slow oh 
wait, hold on. It's 4.30 in the morning in game. Got a night vendor dump some energy. Oh yeah, at some point, um, the new Path of Exile League started, and I was gonna play it. Like, I got to mapping in two days, so, like, I'm technically end game. So, I just have to record some videos of it. This, the League itself is, uh, it's not bad. It's not, nothing really exciting, but it's not bad. Gotta dump some energy, get more black stones. I wonder if my bassy belt sold already. Haha, <laughs> it's sold. Easy money. I hope I have enough in my storage in Grana. Okay, so for every sharp I get, I'll buy one off the market. I think that's two. Is that three? Ooh. Oh yeah, so, okay, so I have to buy three sharps. I'll, I'll do that. The reason why we are buying it off the market is because I literally saved like one mil each. That's how much the prices crashed on PC or yeah, PC NA at least. Which kind of surprises me because I never thought I'd see the day where sharps were just there. But again, there is an event right now. So it's literally just giving everyone three hards and three sharps every single day to every single person. So, that's one thing. Seven mil for ten crown stones, that's good. Haha! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I guess the game wants us to play a Kuno. Jesus, dude. That's four sharps you gotta buy. I gotta buy four shops off the market. It's a sad moment when there are like literally 14,000 sharps just sitting there. Should I just buy the concentrated save me black stones? Yeah, probably. Even the concentrated is just cheaper. There we go, boys. We still saved money. I gotta push this to 60 at some point. I think I'll be 60 on my Mystic probably sometime next week. I've been super lazy just 
on a dummy and getting about like 10% a day. Also, um, at level 60, what add-ons do you guys use? Because I think I have an add-on for Sea Burial, um, Wave Orb for Awakened, and I don't know what I, to get for my third one. Maybe Rising Dragon, and for my first 56, I'm not really sure what to get. Probably... I don't know, if I had to guess, I'd say... Yeah, I have a Roaring Tiger. Yeah, I don't know what to get. <laughs> to be honest, if anyone could let me know what are some good add-ons for Mystic, that would be awesome. But with that said, um, let's see, are there any other characters? Now nah, we're just kind of saving. But yeah, let's go to... Oh yeah, we gotta go back to Alta Nova. Or from Alta Nova to Belia. And like fix our farms or something. Actually, I don't know. So yeah, it's a sad time when there's literally a few thousand or tens of thousands of sharps just sitting there. I mean, I'm pretty sure the price will go up after the event ends. It's just kind of a flood right now. Also can't wait to get 261 AP on my Mystic. I'm a 260 and, and that level 60 you get one free AP. Today we made what like how much 28 mil or something after taxes 26 mil I'm so glad we're done with our belt I mean technically we could improve it and I mean our belt is done we'd want to Either Tungrad or Voltara. To be honest, after 269, I heard the difference. Like, uh, each bracket after 269 is not as great. I think I was looking at it before, and you get maybe like 4 AP uh, per bracket, which is, I mean, AP is still AP, but like from 265 to 267 or 269, you get like a plus 15, which is awesome. So, this is basically where my bracket is right now. Um, I do want to try to push 280, but that involves me, you know, getting RNG carried to Ted Ogre and some Tet Crescents. So I think my next goal is to just get some Tet Crescents. I'll be at 277. And then, well, obviously the goal is a Ted Ogre, but... <laughs> That's probably going to take me the entire, like, rest of 2019 to get. Though, one thing I might do is... So, I have Shikatu seals, or, like, Shikatu seals. I'm at 85 right now. Once we get to 100, I'll get a duo ogre, and then try to smash that to try... Let me see, how much, like, it shouldn't be too difficult to do. Ogres are 70 mil, which is outstanding. I should have sold them all when they were 200 mil apiece, but decided, you know, I thought it'd go up. Apparently it didn't. So, ogres are going down in price too, which is not good for me, at least. People have... Dang, people, how do people have this much money? Not that anyone who has a Penogu would sell it, though I've seen one sell it. 
If they go down to like 10 bill, I'd probably get one. Which, no doubt it will at some point. I don't think you guys want to watch me reset my farm. It's not really the most interesting thing. But with that said, I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.